Every father knows that one day his daughter will find a partner, fly the nest and get married. He wishes his daughter the best of luck and worries about her finding the right man. One that will make her happy, cherish and look after her forever. When Lauren finally plucked up the courage to introduce Sean to us, I honestly thought she performed a citizen's arrest. <laughs> The ripped t-shirt, jogging bottoms, trainers, the vape, and the Sean swagger. <laughs> Plus, a very loud car with blacked out windows that was an inch from the floor. Some of you may have tripped over it when you came in. Good grief, I was. Now, Chris, hold on. Don't judge a book by its cover. I must hand it to Sean. It was a great strategy. From then on, he had only one way to go, upward. <laughs> Lauren, you are amazing in every possible way. And seeing you walk down the aisle today, how beautiful you looked, you just took my breath away. I'm so grateful to have you spend the rest of my life with me. You've shown me how to be a boyfriend, a husband, how to love, and most importantly, how to be a father. Yeah. You've changed my life in so many different ways and I really can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. I'm so excited to see what the future brings for us as a family. Remember, no matter how hard times might get, I will always be by your side. speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. It, its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. I, Sean Paul, take you, Lauren Courtney, to be my wife. To have and to hold, 
to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. I, Lauren Courtney. I, Lauren Courtney. Take you, Sean Paul. Take you, Sean Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. To death us do part. No. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. Can you get them out? <laughs> well done, you want know, to get them out? Want some help? Take take your hand out then. There's one. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Lauren's engagement ring sits in the middle. So, well, that's mine. I mean, we, need, we need to find the other bit. What are you done with it? Okay. Trying to steal it? No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And there. Okay. Well done. Okay. Do you want to stay or do you want to sit down? Stay. Yes. Yeah. Stay there. So, I'm now going to bless the rings. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Sean and Lauren, a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenants which they have made this day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So Sean. Fourth finger, left hand. Lauren, I give you this ring. Lauren, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's it. I'm done. Left. What is it there? Left hand, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Sean, I give you this ring. Sean, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is my privilege to offer the proclamation. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Sean and Lauren have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. And I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And so, Mr. Outlaw, would you like to kiss Mrs. Outlaw? Yes. <laughs>
it seems like a lifetime ago that Sean proposed to Lauren in Dubai, and so much has changed in the world in those four years. I think it's fair to say that COVID has changed our lives forever. However, before the pandemic, and Chris, you stole this off me. Lauren decided it was time for a change and took on the challenge of becoming a paramedic. Little did we all know what was coming our way. Lauren has been on the front line day in, day out, saving lives. Shout out to the rest of the paramedic team. Uh, <laughs> working crazy shifts in overtime, yet still managing to find time for herself. Being amazing in the mum to Charlie. Lauren, you look phenomenal today. You're an incredible role model for Charlie, and Sean's a very lucky man. Can we all raise our glasses in a toast to Lauren? To Lauren. Now let's talk about Sean. So according to tradition, I'm supposed to sing the groom's praise and tell you about all his many good points. Well, I'm very sorry, but I can't sing, I won't lie. But what I do know is that Lauren wasn't the only one to change her job in the last few years. Sean decided to give up the driveways and landscaping, spend the last three years at college just about to learn how to change a light bulb, <laughs> and charge people a lot of money to do so. <laughs> My name's Charlie, I'm the best little man. Just check me out in this suit. You, you have heard the rest now, listen to the best. <laughs> Can I say a great big thank you to the bridesmaid, you all look so beautiful, the pretty flower girls and handsome page boys, you two were just amazing. <laughs> and the groomsmen, thanks for all you have done too. Also, I would like to thank the venue and the caterers for a lovely meal. <laughs> Mummy, you look so beautiful, just like a princess. Love you. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy, you both look so happy and I love you both more than words can say. I am so proud of you and wish all the happiness for our future. At last you have got married. We can now celebrate and have a lovely time. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy, a little Repressed, if I may. I can't wait for a baby brother or sister to make our family complete. I would like to thank everyone here for coming and making Mummy and Daddy's day so special. I just wish the perfect day could last just one day more.
They will watch themselves the blood. Watch them on a map, catch them as they fall. Never know your luck when there's a free fall rule. Here a little dip, there a little touch. Most of them are gone, so they won't miss much. One two, and we will be Yeah. 